Good morning. And this is Sunday. And this is, what is it? 26th of April. 26th of April. <laughs> and this is an advice line? No. Or Sunday morning conversations? <laughs> you see how bad I'm getting? But still, I've got something good to say. And I'm looking to the audience to see what is on their mind. And we have someone right yeah. here. Let's do it because it's better than me giving a lecture. Okay, this has kind of been boiling up for like a whole week now. Okay. And, uh, and um, we talked about my mother a couple of I weeks ago. I you talk about your mother. Oh, you haven't? <laughs> no, I'm a no, it's time then. Maybe because you this are your mother. I am. <laughs> <laughs> You, you told me a couple of weeks ago that she didn't let me become free as a person and everything. It really opened she, up a can she of held worms. You too close. She did. And I want to tell you how, because this is very, very embarrassing. It's okay. And it's time to, tell, it's, to talk. This is really it's embarrassing. It's brave for you to speak, because most people are afraid to speak because they don't like to look bad. But it's here, and I'm just going to say it. That's, so. good. That's a good thing. You know what? We all have respect with embarrassing things because it's got to be said in front of people with, with confidence and fearlessness and, and that makes it beautiful, okay? It's really sick. Um, you, know, you know, my mother was powdering our bottoms every day, every day until we were 11 years old. She was powdering your bottoms? She was powdering them like babies. Oh, powdering, powdering us until we on were on the bottom until we were 11 years old. Well, now, this is I never heard one of those before. That's different. And <laughs> she used How's to How's your it. bottom now? It's <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, I mean, you yeah. do this Let's for babies, right. and once they're out of diapers, <laughs> that's the end of it, you know. But my mom was doing that till we were 11. Yes. And it's sick. I mean, she didn't put diapers she, on us or anything, but it was like... Every night, you know, we'd have to do that, you know, and then she'd you know, put us to bed. You know, but I would do at a whacker one. I, well, she needed it. <laughs> but, you know, when she was coming up the stairs, it was like there was this will coming up the stairs. Yeah. It was a stone. And, and, you know, but my mom was like that with everything. She was, was she powdering her own bottom she <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just, you know, I, it, this was embarrassing, but... I thought I better bring one of the worst things out because then everything else is easier. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the times, you know, I can tell you how my mom used to make fun of me all the time. Um, but it, not, not in a funny way, but in a mean way. In a mean way. Yes, I mean, I can't swallow tablets, for example. Um, and I sat there one time for a whole hour trying to swallow a raisin to practice. With a whole gallon of water, I still can do it. And the whole time, my mom was mocking me. You know, and I still can't well, you swallow You really them. were damaged, weren't you? I was. And, uh... Um, it's just a f subtle form of cruelty, isn't it? It is. And then, and then you know, when, when I started how working... Have, how long have I known you? It's been a long time. How many, how many years? 30. <laughs> how couldn't you tell me 30 years ago? I know. It's just, it, well, it's, it's really, st I'm starting. I couldn't see that she was cruel because she was my mother. She was the one that so you felt gave guilty. us the food. You felt, and you felt guilty. And all then you, the time. And you want to love her to be loved. All and the then time. You, then you, in, inadvertently, you were playing, emboldening her to do it. She didn't, when, on the one hand, she would be cruel to us. It's like cruel and kind all in once. I know. And when I, I, I used to go, when I started work, I used to feel nauseous in the morning. I'd start coughing up a little blood in the morning, you know. And she didn't give a rat's ass. I mean, she'd just walk around and didn't care, not, are you okay, nothing. I was just alone with feeling scared and... And I would just start coughing, and then a little bit of blood would come up, you know. And, I mean, she just didn't care. But on the other hand, you know, it was like <clears throat> she just, you know, she gave us the food. She gave it, you know, every, every, there were good things, too. So I just got all mixed up about who she was and what she was doing to me. And I, the very first time I ever spoke to you, you told me your mother is really wicked. I couldn't see it. 
just saw it the last two weeks. It so took, took 30 years to it see did, To was see wicked. how wicked she really is. Well, you know why? Because you, you're a guilt-ridden person. I am. And you're an appeaser. And so you always think of, of love. You always think in terms of loving the adversary. And you, it carries on to this day, to recently. Well, anyway. let, me, let me tell you why it really, this all kind of hit the fan, so to speak, because yeah. my sister has been burdened with taking care of my mother. And my sister's angry at me for so-called escaping. Is it older sister? It's a younger sister. We were very, very close. We were like twins. And uh, she's burdened with taking care of my mother, and she resents me for not sharing the burden. I, I escaped, so to when, speak. When your mother got older, is that what you're saying? So, yes. Yeah. And, she, and so my sister got... What was wrong with your mother when she got older? She, she, she lost her memory or something? She didn't lose <coughs> her memory. In fact, she's so sharp, it's frightening. And, but on the other hand, she's paranoid. She's sharp and paranoid she's still at alive? the same time. Excuse me? There's, she's still alive. Yeah, she's still, oh yeah, yeah, she's still Where alive. Where is she? She's in England. Well, that's a good place to be. Yeah, she's in England. <laughs> and she's, you know, she's, you know, but... Is the sister taking care of her? She, yes, yeah, she does, but my sister resents it. She can't, my mother has made my sister sick oh more dear. than once. And what happened this was... This is not a laughing matter, is it? It really? isn't. Well, you see, this is, see, my, I feel, my sister resents me for being out here. So I feel guilty about that. And recently my sister became sick, okay? And I know it's directly involved with what happened with, with my mother, you know, the way the, the dynamics are. So, so what happened to me is I felt so guilty about not being there with my sister. I felt like I'd abandoned her. I did something really stupid. I took on my sister's symptoms. It's a very strange you thing. Took on your I took on my sister's symptoms. Yeah, you would because you're codependent on her. You become a codependent. Yeah. You, you, you look. You're looking to your sister to be your mother. You're looking for your proof. Look, yeah. Even so, though she's younger than you. She's younger than me, yeah. and she's angry with me. So I said, I can't abandon. It was my way of saying, I haven't abandoned you. It was, it's like it's really weird. The, no, this, is, this kind of confession is curative. You are going to be cured <laughs> of you. this. And I tell you how I'm going to cure you. I'm going to say just a few words. Screw your sister, screw your mother, and have a good life. Okay. You know, I had to go to school for that. Educated. <laughs> <laughs> Educated, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, are you all right now? I am. You know, I just. You go live your life. I, I'm going to And let live them my both life. die together. Unless she finds a way out. Unless she drops the anger towards your mother. But maybe you need to send her a meditation. She knows about it. Well, then she she, then, she, she rebels against then it. Then too bad. Yep. Nice knowing you. Goodbye. Are you done? I'm done. Yeah. Good. Finished? Done. Yes. Feel better now? I do. Want to have a good cry? I got it out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now that took 30 years. That could have taken 30 <laughs> minutes 30 years ago. Thank God she would have never psychiatrist. <laughs> She'd be poor. <laughs> It's embarrassing, you know. It's just, no, it's, it's not. No, no. You didn't do anything wrong. You, can, you, 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 you managed it the best way you could as yeah. a little kid. My dad powdered my butt till I was 13. <laughs> That's my son, in case you didn't know. They, they powdered my head to try to grow some brain. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Well, we start, we're starting on a very light, in a light way. I like this. All right. Uh, because it's always been so... Well, I do, I do think I make fun of things sometimes, and I try to make, raise it to a more palatable level. And, and, the, and this, you'll forgive me for making fun of you, but it isn't <coughs> making fun of you. I'm making you light. There's a big difference. No, is that right? exactly where it needs to be. Uh, that's right. And thank God. Yes. Thank you. I had a similar uh, experience when I was little. Uh, my mom came to Los Angeles, and I was living in uh, Juarez, Mexico. And um, she left me uh, in, in care of uh, my aunt. And, um, boy, she... <laughs> 
she hated her husband, and then it pushed, she pushed it on me, and uh, everybody has it. I'm not complaining because uh, later on, anyway, I'll, she when I did something wrong, God knows I did everything wrong, she would put me in a closet and put rice on the floor and make me kneel on it and play to, pray to God, you know, that I'd be a better person, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I, I went back years later, and she she hugged me, and I knew she was sorry for what she did. Yeah, but that's a, that, you, that works. Yeah, that works. That See, it's just a difference between the person. But that's not person. totally complicated. You were able no. to let that go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's all right. So not yeah. a big deal. No, it's not. No. Any Anybody else want to? I, I have a mother thing, too, you know, and um, since my husband and I have been trying to adopt a child, um, all of a sudden, because I have this block inside of me. What kind of block is that? Well, um, all I know is that both my sister and I did not have any children, even though we were married, both of us married. And I thought, I, I didn't know what it was, you know, and I know all these years you've been telling me I hate my mother, and I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it, but now I can see it. What, what's wrong? You, but, you say you wouldn't see it or couldn't? I couldn't or wouldn't, I'm not sure. Um, why would why wouldn't you? Because I think it would. It was more the same as Margaret because I was talking to Wendy last night and I was telling her this story about. Um, well, recently I was in Houston and I had to to drive this truck and a lot of traffic, and I have this fear of driving, which started something with my mother. But I it, it was a total panic attack. Like I almost couldn't. St I almost stopped in the middle of the traffic. You mean, I couldn't. You I mean, couldn't. But you've driven a truck before. Trucks yeah, before, but, yeah, it, but all I, of a sudden something's catching up to you well, because you're, you're you're looking to 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 rent a rent a child. Yeah. <laughs> so you? what what happened was when I I think it was about 22 or so I was driving a car with a bunch of my friends and and I was a confident driver I wasn't afraid of anything we drove to New York went over the Verrazano Bridge driving and then all of a sudden all these cars just came out of this exit and every I don't know whose fault it was everybody kind of hit each other and bounced off the walls and and nobody and everybody pulled over but it was because New York everyone takes off you know everyone's like you can still you, drive you, 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 just, you went too fast you, you went just too drive fast. oh I'm old I just oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 25 miles I'm getting an hour like a for me. If you don't okay. <laughs> so, so we're driving, and you know, and there, all these cars get off, get off the exit, and I don't know whose fault it was. But when was how long ago was that? Oh gosh, I was 22, so now I'm 55. So, oh. gosh, it was a why long. Why are we talking about that? I'm telling you this uh, about what happened about my driving problem. So you um, still have a driving problem? Yes. Yeah, so I have this accident. Nothing really happens. Everybody's fine. You I get back home. And my mother starts yelling and screaming at me and telling me I'm a horrible person. Recently? That, no, that back then, way back then. And um, I start crying and crying hysterically, and I could not stop crying. And she yelled at me and told, I don't, she was saying I was a horrible person. I, how could I do, I don't know what, but I couldn't stop crying. I went hysterical. And then she stopped and she looked at me. And I think she saw, and, and my skin kept breaking on my neck, and she goes, oh, you look terrible. So she turned the other way and started being really nice to me yeah. and saying I needed to go to the doctor and help me with my skin and blah, blah, blah. But it was horrible. So after that, I was really afraid to drive. And, you know, I would, I, it, I would have a panic attack if I had to drive over a bridge or, or in certain traffic. And, and... You know, and it kind of got better for a while, but I haven't had to drive in a lot of traffic. But I am very nervous in traffic. Even are you speaking now? Can you move today? Yeah, so to now the, I am very... I got the history. Yeah. Now, what's wrong today? So now that happened <coughs> just like last month. I was in Houston. And Were I, you all right for a while? I, I don't... I think I was avoiding. I hadn't been in a lot of traffic. I hadn't been around that. Well, you really shouldn't be driving a car yet. You shouldn't... You should tell your... My daughter, you not to. No, but it was. I didn't. No, you really I don't, shouldn't until you overcome this. No, I don't usually. So it was like yeah. I was at the show, and they said, "Well, you have to drive this truck back to the hotel or something." And I was like, "What?" And I and I and I could feel the fear, it, and I, it came out of nowhere. The, the only thing is, you can't overcome a fear until you understand what the fear has come from. I mean, just like see, she's she's just got cured. Mm -hmm. It took thirty years for her to confess to these things. But she's, that's why she comes every week, and she gets a little better. Her husband's getting better, right? Get quicker than you. Yeah, Thank God. You put up with that world. crap. It's, 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 pu <laughs> it's pulling me along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, see, the thing is, you need to stay away from... You're gonna, you, 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 if you're not careful, you'll have a terrible mm -hmm. accident. 
you can't try to overcome something you don't understand exactly. No, and I wasn't. They just told me how to do it, and I thought, I was like, oh, and, and you know, and it's embarrassing too because it's an embarrassing no, problem. No, no, no. We still, we're still on the not driving a car till uh -huh. you really, you really should have told me this a long time ago. You see, he should have, she should have told me that 30 years ago. He should it, be coming here for 30 years. And, and, and like you can see that it, the people don't come here because they get better. And they get better, why would they come? Or they come because they like discussion. And like, they like to listen. Because of things I say that are not said by anybody else, that's all. And so that, you don't need to be, have a problem to come to church, so to speak, really, don't. Yeah, I know, but I need to stop her there. But uh, to, uh, to today, not to drive. Be careful how you drive a car, especially a truck, with other people in it. See, because you really need to nail this thing and learn. I, I've known you for all these years. You're a very fine young lady, really, really honest and upfront, and. You do good for me. But it's always with stress and strain and with a terrible anxiety underneath it. And I could always see it, but you could never express, express it. Mm -hmm. You need to get this out. Mm -hmm. You really do. You well, need to be f done with it, finished with it. And then you, because you've always sounded like a little girl. You always sound like a little girl. You always behave like a little girl, but you act, but your skills are amazing. You know, you have wonderful skills, but then the skills have a negative effect because people love you for those skills. And when they love you for your skills, it's, it gives you a sense of worth that's pretty worthless, but compels you to go on without really, really um, resolving the problem. Because the, pro the resolving of the problem is the fact we all love you and appreciate your skills. And that's, skills can kill you in the end, because you have to try more and more and more. We love you more and more and more. And the more we love you, the more you f get high and feel better about yourself, because it's the only way you can feel better than yourself, because you're getting the opposite of what your mother gave you. We actually love you. We actually appreciate you. We actually appreciate your skills. And they're remarkable. I've never seen anything like it. But this is an overcompensation, and it, it doesn't cure you. And I, I'm glad you mentioned it. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah. You know you're like Robin Williams. He had a skill. He made everybody laugh. He made everybody feel happy. Do you think he made anybody better? No. He, he was, he made, they made everybody drunk with ecstasy and happiness. Uh, uh, but he becomes the, he actually, in other words, we're all dopes, and we need someone to make us happy. And he's the dope pusher. And he makes us all laugh, and makes us all happy, and makes us forget what's wrong with us. And we love that. We love whatever makes us forget what's wrong with us. And who does that? And it, 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 the onus was on him. And the more he, the more he, the, the more he, he the, the more the demand, the more the money, the more the glory, the more he felt better. He felt better making you feel better until he could do no more and started to hate the, aud hate the audience. And you do not know that Robin Williams hated the audience because you couldn't see it. He couldn't tell them what he thought of them. He couldn't tell them they hated them. He had to go on making them happy and making himself miserable because he just feels the pull to make this happy. To, to, in other words, he became a slave of approval. And that makes you hate the person that, you are, that is approving your behavior. It's a codependency thing. It's a slave state thing. You have it, don't you? I hear you. I hear you. you I see you w w nodding your head and see that rumbling inside, correct? You want to say something? You want to say something? Do you identify uh, with that? Uh, I can continue later. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure I don't want to tell no, no, you? No, go, no, go ahead. You go ahead. You're a lot better. Mm -hmm. You are a lot better. I am. Go ahead. Um, 
you and I are cut from same the cloth. same cloth. Yeah. And what I'm seeing in this moment is that um, I've lost it a little bit, but oh, right. you there's keep a going. search for God. And that's, okay, let, I, I have to look at him just for a second because the thought will come back into my mind. Yeah. But this is for you too. When you were speaking of needing love, doing, um, I'm kind of lost. I, I saw it very clearly for a minute. Do your best. That's I right. will. It is your search for God. And when you need the love so much for someone else. You're, are you saying you search for God, but you look out into the world because you can't find him within, within you and you've lost it to the world. You've lo somehow lost the love of God to the world. And the world has taken you away from what God is. And therefore you find yourself looking to the people in all the wrong places to rise and give you the love that, that was lost because of the traumas of your life. Something like that? I don't know what happened to me. It was so clear and now I'm, I'm floating. Um, I think when you're speaking to me, <laughs> I've always, I, I think I didn't have God and, and I think that I, I was playing God. Can, I, was, I was playing God. That's interesting. I That's interesting. thought I was the one that needed to help my children. And maybe that's what your mom is. And uh, would you like me to help you just a little I'm bit? I'm so frustrated right now. It, it just left. It was so clear. Uh, I'm here. Oh, I'll, I will talk. I will talk to you. I will okay. talk to you. So when you were a little girl, okay, mm -hmm. okay, when you were a little girl, you had bad parents, okay. And w was it your mother? Was it your mother or your father or both? My dad supposedly committed suicide. When I was nine months old. Is, and is so I've had my suicide? mom. Pardon? Committed suicide? Yes. Okay. So it took me years. How old was he? Um, he was 25. Your father died, committed suicide. How long was he married to your mother? Not very long. You know, she drove him nuts. Um, he wasn't ready. He had a broken, broken life, and he thinks that by being married and having a woman loving, that would cure it, and it didn't. All it did was make it worse, and he couldn't handle it anymore. Bang. Right? Something like that. He stole something, and he didn't want, well, I guess he had, was in juvenile hall when he was a boy, and he didn't want to go back to jail. I know, so he shot himself. Uh, he there. didn't shoot himself. I guess he went on a weekend binge and got drunk and then took sleeping pills. Yeah. So it's not clear I, if he I, killed himself or if he just went to sleep and didn't wake up. Uh, yeah, but point is, he went to extremes to relieve the agony of, of, his, of his existence, basically. It doesn't matter how it's done. And so, so you're left with your mother, right? Mm -hmm. And so now, how is she? How is she? She's angry? Something, did you hate your father for dying? Yep. Did you hate God? F did you hate your father? What, I don't what, know. Was, your reaction? what um, was your reaction? My whole life, I just... <sighs> Let's I just couldn't understand why he would leave me. No, that you, you, re he re you felt rejected by his death. I just didn't understand why he would leave me. Yeah. But could you express it a little better? When you didn't understand, it was, if I don't understand you, I don't have a fit. See? What? If I don't understand my wife, I don't have a fit. If I don't understand why the moon rises, I don't have a fit. So it's more than I don't understand. It means, it translates into feeling rejected. It translates into hating God. In my over. opinion, that, the knowing that my dad committed suicide, 
set in motion. Now, this is only my thoughts. I don't know if it's true. But no, listen, that you say speaking. I searched for love and searched for love. And external. Of course. Of course. In people. In people, yeah. Because in you many people. couldn't find it in yourself. And so but to you, the best you, of my knowledge, I didn't consciously hate God. I, so I didn't have the thought. I've, to the best of my knowledge, I've never... But you wanted to find God, but you, but you looked in the I wrong place. I didn't know that I wanted to find God. I think that's my Fair point. Fair enough. So in, now but in you were looking for love externally. Uh, whether you understood it, why you in, whether you understood what you were doing or not, you were ex looking for love in all the wrong places. Correct. And did not know that that was the wrong places. But as I was looking, yeah. when you were speaking... Always I would think, if I could win the lottery, if I could win the lottery, I'd buy my kids a house, I'd buy them a car, and my kids would be okay. Everything would be okay if I, if I, 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 yeah. I, if I could just do it. And so, uh, I, I took the place of God, and I can only go to my kids because that seems to be where my sorrow lies. And I feel as though I took their chance. Now, I also know I did not, because in any moment, the mystery unravels into any soul that will take it. Say that again. I know that in any given moment, the mystery can unravel into any soul that will accept it. So I know my children can be okay if they so choose it. I do know that. You think you okay, it can be okay if you what? If they choose it. If my kids choose it, I know that... Cheated? No. If my Cheated. children choose to accept God, they will be okay. I understand okay, that. It's clear. But there is a guilt because I feel as though I always wanted to save them from whatever. And it was your job. It was my job. And that, that's the point oh, there's that the I was trying there's to the make conflict. it. Be. There's a conflict, yes. And so what's in my life now there's so much joy, and, and God is real. Mm -hmm. He's real. Yes. There's still um, doubt. There's still almost where you feel like you're the only one that gets it, like, ha-ha, I got it, and you don't, kind of. But when I'm, when I'm me and I'm centered, there's a reality that I've never known before. So I don't, I'm rambling now. The point... No, you're not. You're, I'm actually following every single word you're saying. Okay. This so is you relax. Oh, you no, know, here it is. It's, co it. it's coming very clear. Fine. I... Oh, this is... Ugh. Say it. Ugh. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Say it. Okay. Oh, it's very hard to say it out loud because it's no, so it's bad. No, it's not so bad. You're, it's not bad. You're not I bad. was God. So, oh, God, no, how could you do no, that? this is fine. Go ahead. What? There's no judgment on you. I took it away only to this point. Only to this point. Only to this point. Because I, I'm sorry now. But I need to let that go. That's hanging on a little tight, that one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's sweet. That is such a sweet thing. Go ahead. How could we do it? It, it wasn't you. How yeah. could I is let that live in me and do it to people? <laughs> I know. You couldn't help it. <laughs> No, this is why you're here. You know, you know <laughs> what I say. It's not you that does this thing, but sin that makes the home. Oh, there's something not this nice in me right now. I thought it was maybe gone. Okay, I need to calm down. He didn't want me to be sorry. <laughs> See, that's the, that's, that, that is the entity that was in you. Remember you had an entity, and I gave you an exorcism a few weeks ago. Well, that's coming. Maybe it's twin, is it, or something? <laughs> uh, it could be. It could be. I, it could be another. Stop it. It could be another one. Let it come out. 
come out. This one is like entangled in my spine. I get it. I get it. Look, 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 look. This means this is a symbol of defeat. Of what? My feet? <laughs> no, 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 defeat. Okay. Defeat. Oh. Yeah, don't make fun. Okay. Yeah, don't make fun. This is not funny. This is a symbol of your defeat. The thing within you is defeated. It reminds, this is traumatic. Traumatic. Tr trust what I'm saying. I do. Not guilt. You're not guilty of anything. You, the little girl. <laughs> you, the little girl, is not guilty of anything. <laughs> it's the thing that made a home in you because of the cruelty. We haven't, I haven't traced the cruelty, but you haven't traced it to your mother yet. My mom. You haven't discussed your mom. And that's where it comes through that. What is wrong with you comes through all women. <sighs> It comes through all women. It's generational. It passes from generation to generation I and she could I not help it. Daughter. She could not help it and you couldn't help it. It transferred to you. I don't want it in there anymore. Out. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Come out. Come out. Swine thing. Come out. It's a second one. Come out. Now. Now! You know who's in me? Jesus. Look. Yes. Come out. I love Jesus. Of course you do. I do. But you're not Jesus. No, I have to separate. Of you're course. You're not Jesus. Of course. Okay, but I get a little but lost in that. Well, no, great. And you've seen it for yourself. You've seen it. I didn't have to tell you. You know it for yourself. You've always known this for yourself. You didn't oh. trust it. We're gonna have to look trust at it again. now. Trust your common sense as a child. Become as a little child. Everybody has to become as a little child. They cannot enter the kingdom. Will you make that come out? Because it's still there. It will come out when it's time. Mm -mm. It needs to linger a little longer. It lifts the lid. I want it to. <laughs> I know, but let's not fight. Okay. Let's not fight it. Let's not fight it, let it come, let it come. Don't hate it, don't resent it. Don't I resent yourself, do. don't resent yourself. That's what you're doing, you're resenting the self, but that's not you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the thing and you get embroiled more deeply in it when you get res when you angry with yourself. The self is not you, it's the <laughs> other self. It's the other self within you that's growing and taking your life away and your oh, innocence is feeding on you. Oh. I understand that. Oh. Come on. <laughs> this torments you, we've got to come out. It's painful and it gets worse, come out. Go down with, into the earth. <coughs> Go into the atmosphere. Like you were. Which you're looking, it was looking for a body and it found you. It cannot e exist without a body. It, it doesn't belong there. You're innocent. You've been innocent all these years. <sighs> and you couldn't help but be infected and, and be affected by it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't you understand? Then trust me. Trust me. Not your doubts. They're very trust. strong. I don't care how strong they are. I don't care how strong they are. Because it doesn't matter, huh? It doesn't matter. Don't you? It understand? won't keep me forever, huh? No. No. Trust me. <clears throat> trust where I'm coming from. Not me. Where I'm coming from. Do you understand? Can I tell you something sad? Tell me something sad. I could hear you, but I could see that camera. And it's making it like it has some, like it's performing or something. It's watching you? No. What is it? It's, it's the camera. It's like it's, it's performing for the camera or something stupid. 
<coughs> Take you off the camera. Take her off the camera. Okay. Now, now you can't. Now you don't have that anymore. Oh, I don't think he likes that. Uh-huh. Now it's just us. It's like having that thing. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> it seems so stupid <laughs> when you see it for uh, your own self. It's all right. It's all right. It'll be all right. Don't make it simple. Don't struggle. Don't struggle with it. Don't struggle with it. Don't struggle with it. Don't, see, if you, if you struggle with, with the will, it entangles It is. It's itself. in my spine. That's right. But it tangles itself with you and feeds off the struggle. It's as if, to as make if me you, not no, you. if you can help. It's, your ego is, it's, it, if you struggle, it's it tempting you to struggle as if the struggle could cu- overcome it. Yes. It will overcome you instead. Yes. Stop struggling. Stop struggling! <laughs> Stop struggling! <laughs> Stop! Listen! Let me, <sighs> let me play the role of your dad that you, you lost. Let me play the role. <sighs> That's what, you need a man to play the role. It's not a woman that can help you. Mm. It passes through all the women. Every woman on earth has it, whether they realize it or not. And when you get married, the men begin to experience it because they draw on it. Man born of woman looks to the woman for love, and she's Eve. Don't you see that? And your father didn't understand that. The average man doesn't understand it. That's why there's, there's, there's hardly any, any marriages left in America. <sighs> Even the ones that are together are, are, are in trouble, whether they realize it or not. It's okay. You inherited. <clears throat> you've inherited craziness. Crazy. That's what you, you've inherited it but you're innocent. I say to you that with the authority that's in me, with the full knowledge of forethought, (coughs) I can tell you that it's not that you that's doing these things, but sin that made a home in you. And there's only one place in the Bible that says it, and (coughs) Paul says it. And so I'm saying that to you again. You are not guilty of anything. (coughs) No, you as a little girl is not guilty of anything. It was put into you and you couldn't help it. And, it's, and you, it, it, in the kindness of what's good in you and the misunderstanding of all this, you struggle to be a better person. And when you're a little girl, something says to you, when I grow up, I'm going to be the bestest mother in the whole world. Is that correct? <laughs> and that wasn't, that wasn't, True. I don't remember that, saying that, but I'm not. But you are trying to be the bestest mother, aren't you? But why would that come? Because you didn't have a bestest mother. And you didn't, and you got rejected, but you felt rejected by your father. And therefore you were infected by your mother, and she passed it on to you and couldn't help herself either. She couldn't help herself either. And your grandmother couldn't help herself and the great-grandmother couldn't help herself any more than Eve could help herself because he gave in to her. And every man gives in to the woman sooner or later and then becomes a slave or a bully. And it doesn't, in either way, it's misery. Let it go. Don't let it go any, any further. Can I ask you one more thing? Yes. <laughs> My son. I got pregnant with him when I was 16, and he's speech and hearing impaired. Here. <laughs> Here. I think I did that. <laughs> I'm going to cry in a minute if you're not careful. <laughs> you just, ha- just have a nice little cry. <laughs> a nice, quiet cry. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. You want me to go home? <laughs> <laughs> Not till I finish with you. <laughs> Not till I finish with you. 
Will they but ever get better, do you think? You already <laughs> better if you just no, reckon. Not me, not me, him. Who's him? Who's him? My son. When you get better, he gets better. When you get better, uh, when you get better, stop trying to fix him, you get better. I can't fix him, I already broke him. I know, but stop breaking him, stop trying to fix him. Because that's what does you fix you he fix was it. born speech and hearing impaired. He has something wrong with him because of me. No, not because of you. No, because of what passed into you. Don't you understand? I wanted to come out of him. How do we get it out of him? When are you going to stop blaming yourself? When are you going to stop struggling with yourself and playing God? I don't know. Why don't you let God be God okay. and forgive you? And, the, and then you can deal with your son better. If you were so screwed up, you could deal with your son better. Don't you see that? Why don't you let me unscrew you? Why won't you let me unscrew you? Have at it. Yeah. I can't force it. No. I just have to, all I want you to be is happy to hear what I have to say. I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so happy. I, it should be, it's, 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 you've got nothing wrong with you except <laughs> that can't be fixed with him. You're just realizing it wasn't your fault. You, you inherited it. You inherited the dark side of the force. And so many people have it. They suppress it and die from drugs, alcohol. <laughs> Um, all kinds of illnesses and diseases, cancer. That's what all it's all about. The whole country, the whole world has what you have in various degrees. The prison is full of people. The insane asylums are full of people. The people walking around have these problems with the old covering it up. They get, away for a with, they get away with it for a little while with drinks and drugs and having whoopee and having a life. That's what I did for a while. That's Sorry. right. I'm going to drink my latte now. He needs his energy. <laughs> Cheers. Oh dear. All right. Well, now... How are you feeling right now? Oh, it's, it's all coming out. It's okay. It's okay. Listen. One more thing. Okay. Do you trust me? Yes. Do you trust a man? No. Well, you could trust a man if the man is trusting the Creator, right? I'm a, I'm a change agent. I, no. I, I'm a, I believe that you have the spirit of Jesus. That's right. Senior. Well, then. You will obey the spirit in me and not the spirit in you. Transfer your respect to the spirit in me, not the spirit of your mother or your grandmother or anything else. It's all done. It all can be done now. Now is your chance. This moment is the moment where you can be better, go home and learn to love the hell out of your children and love the hell out of everybody else. And learn not to be intimidated, angry, annoyed with anybody else or yourself. That's all. That's all. And you have that gift not to be upset with yourself. You have that gift not to be upset with yourself because then you're playing God again. It's a, in other words, you will get better all by yourself without anybody helping you. Well, of course, because Jesus is in me too. Yeah, but, it, you. But, you, but you don't know what Jesus <laughs> is. It's just a little piece. What? It feels like, just like a little piece, like everything is okay. And you don't have to struggle. <sighs> and you don't have to fight. Well, then why is it? Because it doesn't want to go? Because I know what you're saying. I know that. But you still, you see, when well, you listen, but you see, you see, look. Just go away. No, because I'm talking to the thing that's saying that. It's not you speaking. Don't you see? 
it's not you oh, speaking. Oh, I don't think I've separated quite a hundred percent. I know, but you, but you have to recognize you have another self. Listen carefully. Okay. We're having a conversation. Who is? Okay, well, listen, we have a conversation. Now, I'm going to persuade you, if it's possible, if you're open to it, are you open to truth? Do you know what truth is that sets you free? What is the truth that sets you free in your case? The truth is you have another self that is talking to you and, and talking back to me as if it was you. What's talking to me is not you. What you need to see, it is not you that's talking to me. That you are in there as a little child. There's a little child in you, a beautiful little child. I want to talk to that beautiful little child. She's gone. No, she's not. Yes, she no, is. she is. But then don't come back. Who? You. <clears throat> if you don't want to believe that, then you stay home. And you die. And you lose all your children. And everything you want to help do, the, do for them goes away. The potential, all it takes is a little faith in what I'm telling you. And you, that little child is capable of faith, but the dark side is not. <clears throat> the dark side gets in the way. The dark side gets in the way. And it pretends to be you, so you feel guilty. And you struggle with it <sighs> not to be guilty. You're not guilty. You're only guilty. <coughs> because it tricks you that it's you. And all you have to see that what is talking to me <laughs> is not you. That what is talking to me is not you. It never has been. It's been there a long time. <laughs> but it's not you. Do you understand? Do you trust what I'm saying? Does it hurt to trust what I'm saying? What's so difficult? <laughs> What's so difficult to say? Roy's right. He knows what I'm saying. It's true. Roy. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm an emissary of what is right. <laughs> Don't you see? How could one person do? Okay, it's not me. Okay, hold on. <sighs> I know, I understand. This, this, this crying is the thing dying. No, it can't. it's not you. Don't you understand? There's another you. There's another you within the you. It sits unholy in the place of the holy. And the only faith you've ever had is doubt. And doubt is upside down faith. And you go down. And you get more entangled with hell. <sighs> Don't you see? Here, give it a <laughs> Give it to her. Now calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Close your eyes. No, just close your eyes. Close your eyes. And now. Close your eyes. Keep it keep still. Look upwards. Look upwards. Look upwards with your eyelids. Okay, now, now look upwards. Follow, follow my, follow my finger. See my finger in the middle of your forehead. Follow it. Look at with your eyelids. Look. Be follow with, follow with, follow with your eyelids. Follow the, follow. It cross. My yeah. eyes are crossed. I know. I, well, I know. I understand that. Okay, the, uh, but I can feel your, I can feel your finger. Yes. Yeah. Now, it's difficult to open your eyes. It's, see, if it's difficult to open your eyes. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm taking control. I'm taking control of that subconscious thing. Your head's getting heavier. <laughs> head. Follow my. Follow the heat of my hand, and so the head falls forward. Follow the heat of my hand. Follow the heat of my hand until you get tired of struggling. Follow. Follow the heat of my hand. Follow the heat of my hand until your head falls forward and gets heavy. Follow, 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 follow. Relax, relax. You're listening to me now. 
I'm taking charge of what is inside you. I am taking the charge. You can't do it. I can. And I, uh, listen to me. I'm replacing the thing in you. What is in me is replacing the what is in you. What? What is in me is in you. It taking the place of the you. Taking the place of the thing. No. I take the place of the thing. <laughs> I take the place of that thing. Okay. I'm taking the place mm. of that. Taking the place of that thing. Take that place of that thing. Calm, calm down. Calm, calm, calm. No fun. No, 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 no. Trust me. Your mind trusts me. Your mind. Your what you call the mind, the subconscious mind, all the, all the conditioning is there, I'm there. I'm there. You leave it. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be sleepy. Be sleepy. Relax. 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 Be calm. 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 Peace. 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 Yes, we I know this. Don't struggle. Listen to me. Don't struggle. Feel my hands. Don't struggle. Feel the hand. Feel the warmth in your head. Feel relaxed, okay? You know I'm doing something counter hypnotic, don't you? See, that's what it is, it's hypnotized you. That's all you're in a hypnotic state struggling with it. I'm there. I'm taking the place of it. Why couldn't I? Why can't you let me? You can let me, can't you, huh? Right? You can let me. Okay, calm down. Okay, calm down. You'll be obvious. Look at me now. Is it okay if there's just a teeny piece of that left? It'll go away later. Mm hmm. All you have to do is this, recognize that what is in you, all those horrible things inside you, is not you. If it's not you, you're free. <laughs> Remember, and that's true for every living person on earth, whatever's rotten inside you isn't you. It's sin that makes a home in you, exactly what Paul said. I have not seen it anywhere in the Bible said quite as clearly as he said. These are the things I did that I didn't want to do, I did. And the things I wanted to do, I couldn't. Therefore, it's not me that doth these things, it's sin that makes a home in me. It gets better. Yes, sir? You know, I Just on the same note, I, I remember when, you know, when I was a little child with... You said? <clears throat> I remember when I was a little child and, and um, how you're saying that this, this thing that is in all women, that it transfers through women. It's all women. Uh, right, and I There's remember... There's not a single woman that right. doesn't have it, that doesn't need a man to love the hell out of her. Instead, men love the hell in her. It's, it's, it's exactly what's happened. You make, you're re repeating the same mistake Adam makes, looking for love for what's... what's what has passed through you into to her into you, and therefore you will have a, an affinity towards her, not only natural but unnatural. So what natural is becomes unnatural. Sex becomes unnatural. It becomes a form of reassurance of who you are, and that's called lust. And it will kill you. Lust kills because it is entangled with love. And reassurance that you're, as a man, you're okay when you're not. And if you, if you, so if you, if you're, if you're subject to that, how can you, she be subject to you, and the good in you when it isn't there because you think the good is in her. It rises to the occasion of your need, like a drug pusher with that pushover. That you have is gone. It is weak. And now you have an opportunity to look and believe one thing. Just believe one thing. What you see in yourself, 
is not you. And the very fact that you can see it will relieve you because it isn't you, so you don't have to take the blame of what it does through you. And when that happens, and you hold that ground, so when you see doubt, when you see fear, when you see craziness rising, just watch it and know it isn't you. And it will go away forever. But that's your, that's your journey now. I'm transferring that to you. You have that in you as a little girl. But you're not a little girl anymore. you're a big girl now. And you have that faith. You have that understanding. And all you need is that understanding, which is like light. Can you see what I'm saying now? Can you see it? Just a little bit. Can you see? A little bit comes a lot. Just like a little bad becomes a lot of bad, right? Well, <clears throat> what's happening in this moment is it's trying to, because I, I can see that the consciousness of God lies in front of my brain, <coughs> but behind my forehead. And so I know that this, when it rises up, is trying to block that. And course. that's all that's of happening course. right now. It is trying to. All you have to do is try mm -hmm. to stop, str not to struggle. Let it rise and you look at it. Let it rise again and look at it. And when you look at it with a mind's eye, see you have a mind's eye. You don't have these just eyes Right. Here. Mind's eye, right. you can see it. It doesn't like to be watched. Mm -mm. It cannot stand being watched and it will try to torment you into giving in. And all you have to do is nothing. Do you understand? Yeah. You can't save yourself. You are too busy trying to save yourself and it's yes. tricking you to do that. Yes. Yes. So now, what more can I do? Not much. Unless you could just zap this. No, well, we, gone, we, but we are doing a pretty good job. This is the second exorcism. You are. God is through you. Okay. Yes. Cool, cool your jets, kid. I have to. I'm having a party at my house with my grandbabies, so <laughs> I got to get happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You'll be fine. See, there's one place in your life. I know this. I don't want to sound braggadocious, but you don't find what's in me in many people. Mm -mm. So why don't you trust me? But you know what's so sad? It's in all of us. Yeah, of course it is. We just have to wake up. Isn't that sad? It's in sad? all of you. you it is in all boom. of you. All I'm trying to Hello, do is. Hello, God. And that's it. That's it. That's it's not it. a big you deal. Said, you, you said so long ago, it's so simple, no one can find it. Because yeah. we're searching so hard somewhere else. You know, just be still and know. See, well, stop. Be, be still. You see, just watching you, just watching your thoughts is being still. You just, just sit there, watch. Sit there and watch. Sit there and watch. And here it comes up again to try to trick you, to twist you, to... Put, put a doubt into you, to bring a memory up. If a memory comes, oh, I see that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for showing it to me. So you, you, you don't say, like, be quiet, because I say, be quiet. No, no, you don't do that at all. You just watch it talk. You watch it to try to make you doubt. You just watch it. Of yourself, you can do nothing. But as Jesus said, of myself, I can do nothing. The Father within me, he does that. If he's, he said that, why can't you say that? So just because it says something. It doesn't mean nothing. So it means nothing. It doesn't. It, doesn't it has no power except the power you give it by, by struggling with it and believing it. And trying to stop believing it. Like Just it's watch. real. Just watch. See me? I'm just watching. You don't see me struggle. I'm speaking from my heart. I'm not tangled up with that thing. You can't tangle me up with it. But I can help untangle you by just trusting every word I'm saying. But not trying to do every word I'm saying. Wait, what? D not trying to do. Me? Act out what I'm saying to you. Except me or one you? No, I don't want you to act out. Oh, all oh, the words. Okay. Yes, yes. I yes. just want you to listen, and it goes past your mind, and you can just hear it, and it makes sense, and and just watch it. And all I'm saying to the very bottom line is, 
you have a, an intuitive self that steps back and literally perceives, like it's like a seeing thing, like a knowing thing that you have a dark side and it's pulling you down into it to struggle. It makes you think that all the things that happened to you and have programmed into you, it's you. No, it's, it's, it's the sin that's made a home in you and in you it's very deep and very complicated. But it's not complicated in the overcoming of it because all Jesus ever said, be still and know that I am God and you ain't. And then you will see you ain't. See that? And then you free from playing the role because it's doing that to you. It's still because you didn't know where God was. And, but he's always then there is a little child. The little child can actually see the, the foolishness of their own parents, but they don't know how to deal with it. They, because they're dependent on food and the shelter in protection. Little children can see it. You come into the world pure, but your culture picked you up. The craziness of the world gets inside you because you're helpless against it and it will get inside you and spin and twist. I, I feel like, I think maybe at a young age, I don't remember being young, I think it, it did enter, however, probably through my mom. No, I must no, have no probably through your mom. Okay, and I think I didn't always see the craziness. I just went with it. I became the shadow <coughs> of my mother. Thank you. And now putting the crazy in my family. Yeah, that's right. And then, it, it can, and then you don't have a husband to stop you. But well, you I do. And he... he, he, he oh, you have a husband? Mm -hmm. Is he a good guy? He is. I mean, you know, everybody has their issues, but it's... Well, it's a blessing. It is. It, so it why is. don't you keep your blessings? I will. You're, you're, you're a good woman. You just messed up, that's all. Like everybody else in the country, to various degrees, they, they can't admit it. They got it suppressed. And when the door closes every night, they fight each other and screw their kids. It's on the surface, and look at us, we're, the whole country's collapsing. Everybody's always, oh, Brenda, you're so nice, and, and, and I'm that, I'm a friendly, smiley. person, I've never, I never really liked it. I, I needed the, I needed, I needed the praise to fulfill what was in me, but I didn't like it. No, you don't have to accept praise. Okay. You don't have to accept praise. Listen. But how do you, t if someone says, oh, you look very pretty today, or I could see well, you've lost well, weight, okay. how do you, t tell me how handsome I am. <laughs> what, tell me. I'll tell you what you are. What? You are a beautiful. I was just joking, of course. But but you know what? I don't care if you look like a toad. There's a there's a there's a beauty that I can connect with. I don't care if you're handsome or if you're not handsome. Do you think you're handsome? <laughs> That's all that matters. When you look in the mirror, do you I was like expecting it? Expecting <laughs> something nice. I need some help. How much from you. more nice could I be? <laughs> how how much more nice could it be to know that, that you're you have something magical, not magical, um, it spiritual. Is a, it is and a kind of, it is a kind of magic, isn't it? <coughs> would isn't you rather it? would you rather be an eighty six year old buff dude all tan and and beautiful and, and just be sitting there looking at us pretty? <laughs> No, you wouldn't, because you, you, you are that, You're, you are that, and, then you well, I, and you know what, I am that, and everyone is that. Yes, you, you get that, once you get it, you're free, <laughs> it's the truth that sets you free, it's a little tiny truth, trust it. I don't think I'm going to quit curling my hair though. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things I've seen around here will curl anybody's hair. <laughs> <laughs>
you, you might start growing hair to curl. <laughs> God bless me with one thing. I, I've always been able to laugh at myself. You know, no matter what went wrong, I could look. I could see you, the humor. Bernie, uh, you've uh, come in a it. long way. And I, I gotta admit, there's a there's a dark side to humor because you can you can make a joke and not see something also. Yes. So I've I've done both ways yes. actually. It's like entertainers make you get these funny jokes and if it make you forget who you are. Yeah. I see. Mm. I see. And so I went, but I go through the day. I laugh. I see funny things. I see how situations can be really be funny and we can make jokes of it as we go. I don't need a comedian to make it. Honest humor is fun. Yeah. Honest humor is beautiful. Bernie, you've come a long way. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, I don't see, you're as ugly as you were 40 years ago. <laughs> but, but, but still, you haven't aged. Well. <laughs> Just kidding you. Yeah. You've, well, you've, I probably aged all. You're walking now, but you're I aged walking all, now. Yeah. Well, aged all at once, so I can't get any older. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. How long, what time is it? It's only about ten past um, ten. What we have, we're having a very interesting discussion here today. You are saying things you've never said before. And you wonder how many millions of people listen to my program and never call and get better. Or never venture forward to come up here. I can't go to them so much anymore, but we do have the reason why this is videoed is so that people can actually experience it is if I was in a seminar. Because what's happening to you, what's happening to you is is a system of things that it ver that the behaviors are of ver the behaviors vary, but it's all crazy. There's so many different crazy variations of how you've been suggested, what's suggested to you as you're a child. But it's all the same as giving angry with your parents and resentful towards your parents, and 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 that opens the door to the hypnotic state that you live in, is a mesmeric state. Yes. I wanted to say one thing because, well, I don't know why exactly why I want to say it, but the, when you talk about um, how evil go, goes through women and transfers from, from generation to generation, you know what I'm talking about? yes. Yeah. And the, all the men fail. Right. And I, you know, I remember when I was, I didn't, when I was really young, I remember when the exact moment that when, when, when my mom was cruel to me, I remember looking up at her face, and I didn't, I mean, of course I knew she was beating me, but I, I, I can actually remember the moment when, when th th this invisible thing transferred through the air, went yeah, through the got, air, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and came into me. I know that sounds crazy, but no, I can... No, it doesn't sound crazy. I can actually remember the moment when that happened, and then from... From that moment on, and I, I understand what you're saying, you know, and I lived, I lived a horrible life of, of using alcohol and drugs and all the things that go along with that, but, but it all came about because that thing, that, as Paul said, you know, it's not I that do it, but sin that's made a home in me. Yeah. So all those things that I did, it was not I, you. It was not me. Not it, you. It was exactly. not me. Through you. And, that's why Hitler could do the things, and Stalin can do those things. ISIS can do those things right. to people and Hit, act through them and do, k k right. commit murder. Right. Hitler was abused as a, as a young child, too. I don't know if... Yeah, uh, he was, but he's, there's some people born social psychopaths. Yeah. Uh, there are very few of those, but you don't need many. You have to see the, the silence of the lambs to know what kind of, what does a psychopath can do, eat your liver. If it could. With some yes. Anyhow, I, yes. I, and I just, I, I just wanted to, to bear witness to that because, you know, when, you, when you're identified with that and, you, you know, all these horrible, terrible things are done through you and if you, if you really think, well, if you think, well, I did this, you feel condemned. Uh, I, want, I want to share something with you. If you don't mind, you can sit down if you oh. like. Um, I want to share something. I have a friend uh, who's 55 and he hadn't got married. Um, because he, he worked for me when he was 18. 
1718, and he became, a, and his father wanted him to become a um, financial person. And I said, you need to do what you need to do. And he became a builder and a contractor, and he builds very expensive houses, and he's very wealthy. And, and, and he's my friend ever since then. And he came yesterday, and I said, how's your wife? How old is your wife? She, well, he just got married. She's 45, and he's 53 or something like that. Uh, but the still thing, he, was, he delayed marriage for a long time. But he figured, well, I've got to get married. And he got a nice young lady. But immediately, she wants, in other words, if there's a telephone call, I says, I'm going to just say how it all works. So he gets a telephone call because he's in business. And because he's in business, he's having his lunch and dinner. And he has to talk about that and not delay it. Because it's, things need to be in business. You have to deal with problems promptly. And she me immediately f feels that the, she's been deprived of his attention. And all she wants is attention. And all she wants is attention which looks like love. And, and the women want attention. And they want attention but they don't understand the nature of that want. See, And pretty soon she's... But the point is he can't stop in the middle of it. But she gets angry if she doesn't stop in the middle of it, because look, this is our time to have dinner. But she doesn't understand. She doesn't want to understand because having dinner is romantic, is nice, and she gets all the attention, but attention is not, but it's not good for her, that, that attention. See, and then she starts to get angry because his attention is diverted somewhere else other than her. And she's 45 already, and she's never been married. And, but nevertheless, she's a nice girl, but she can't help herself. And, but she, she, so now she gets complain. Now she, now the, the more, and she gets angry. She gets angry because, why don't you hang up and call some other time? She said, but I've got to do business. See? And he's beginning to see now that the nice young lady that he married, all she wants is attention. And if he gives it to her, it emboldens her to do it again. But if you don't give it to her, she gets even mad, madder because you don't pay attention to her. And she wants that attention, he wants some more attention. And he, he's learned, he's now learning how to be calm <coughs> and deal with it. And she has a fit, and she, next morning she says, I don't want God got into me. And so he is now going to know what it likes to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he took up candle making. <laughs> 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 But he's a, he's a very fine young man. He became a philosopher. He became a philosopher. That's right. That's what, that's what Socrates. Socrates says. If, when he asks was he's married, he says, well, if you, have get a, if you get a good woman, it's good. Otherwise, you become a philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, what women m m need is a man that does not react the compulsion of a woman to f focus on her. To, do you see that? She wants to be recognized. What does she want to be recognized as? It's the side of her that's, that's Eve. If you, if, and it hungers for your love. It hungers for your loyalty. And that's, called atten that's the attention she wants. Damned if she get it. Damned if she doesn't. What is a man to do? Understand it. There it is. All it needs, man, it needs a man is understand that she can push, and then she doesn't get what she wants. It's like a little child. If you get upset with the little child, you get into the little child. And the little child doesn't need you to get in. He doesn't understand why he's looking for love and looking for approval, because it's in the child from the mother, whether it's male or female. And the man, the husband, needs to be so centered, so calm, so manly, that she doesn't respond to all the screaming and the yelling and, and, and the blaming and the lack of attention and not caring for me <laughs> and the tantrums. You just wait for it to go away. The, all the women will have to be like little kids throwing tantrums until they don't throw tantrums and have respect for you. That's all over. Okay. To me, it's taken 63 years. It's still not finished. Okay. 
I just want to say something kind of interesting is that's how I was. I always want, Kevin, do I look pretty? Yes, Brenda, you look pretty. And I'd say, shut up, you're such a liar. Why didn't you just say it first? Why did I have to ask you? And I was always, always. Say, you went a little bit too fast for okay. me. I'm a little slow. I would, I would say, Kevin. That's my Who's husband. Who's Kevin? Said. Kevin. Her husband. My husband. Oh, okay. So I'd say, do you think I look pretty? And he'd look at me and say, yes, Brenda, I think you look pretty. Then I would say back to him, shut up, you're a liar. Why didn't you say it before I would ask you? Well, maybe. <laughs> so I was always <laughs> trying to pull. You see how crazy that is? And, and pull from him. and want. So the interesting part now is now... I try to make sure, and this is kind of silly, but I try to make sure that the coffee's ready when he's home. Yes. And I've been cooking as, for as him. That's kindness. That is consideration for your husband that goes to work, and your, as a as a, a dutiful wife, is effortless to be kind to your husband and be thoughtful of him. That's all he needs. That's all he needs. But guess is what? It? Now he's being nice. He still doesn't tell me I'm beautiful. The poop but he's <laughs> oh. well I'll tell you I'll tell you you're not beautiful so it wasn't about that okay. but so, you are beautiful inside right and then the hey other. where have I heard that before but you know what you're beautiful inside and but it will take shape on the outside yes see if I wasn't beautiful on the inside I would sit there smoking and drinking in there because yes. the because I'm lacking the beauty I need to have a feeling of beauty a feeling of being good I have I I eat very little. I work hard. I worked eleven hours on my thesis yesterday. Effortless. The time mm -hmm. flies by. I'm, I'm just yep. like a kid playing on the seashore. But to just to finish that, my thought is that he's starting to be genuinely nice. Where I can see that he's um, maybe he'll pour me a cup of coffee. And I can see that he's doing it just to be nice. They're just yeah, to be and nice. And you do the same thing. Yes. And then you're free. Yes. <coughs> see, that is thoughtfulness of other people. Yes. Is beauty. Thoughtfulness of only of yourself. And that's all this is, is you is a problem. And well, wanting people wanting to cater to you and get your husband to do for you and trick him <laughs> into loving you until, he, until you're freaking spoiled. Mm -hmm. Right? And then <laughs> also doing, like, making dinner or pouring coffee or doing something because you want them to acknowledge you. But when that's you not good. No, that's, that's what I'm good. saying. That's where I, I used to be that person. No, no. And I probably am a little bit still. But I can see that there's just, like, I just get up and do it. Now, that's all there is to it. Okay. That's all there is to it. It's not just you. It's thoughtfulness of another person. There's where you get the... God loving you without you knowing it's love you don't feel love love isn't a feeling at all it's just being yourself being thoughtful oh would you like a chair would you like a cup of, a cup of coffee make the dinner and not say look what I did for you you say <laughs> tell me how much you love me for making the dinner for you okay. see uh, it's not it's nothing I, li I like one saying in, in Spanish, and it's, it's, it's like you were, I'm drowning, <coughs> and a man puts out his hand, pulls me up. That's easy. I couldn't do it. And I say thank you. How do you say thank you in Spanish? Yeah. yeah. What, what was the first? What, well, how you say? He said gracias, and he says de nada. De nada. It's nothing, yeah. and it's really nothing. I don't own you. It's my pleasure. See, yeah. and it doesn't feel like anything. Just pull somebody out, but it's a lot to the other person, right? It's life. Okay. Well, I think we've had a very nice meeting today. It was nothing. Huh? <laughs> 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 he said it was nothing. <laughs> so it was very nice. And see if you can't. What's the problem with all of you? That you need to glow. 
glow with graciousness, which is something you don't realize you have, to the point where you can bring somebody with you because they're affected by your magic, your grace. How do you get, people ask me, how do I get that way when I'm round, round and about? I don't know, it just, I, I sit there and explain to them a few things and then we have a nice conversation, like if I'm in an aeroplane. I say, hello, I'm Roy Masters. What's your name? And we have a little discussion. And before you know it, I have, a, I have a, somebody that wants to get better. Right there and there. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's just a matter of how do you radiate. And you radiate in a negative or you radiate in a positive. But you don't know you're radiating. So the radiating negative brings all kinds of misery. The radiating positive brings all the good things. <coughs> I'll tell you one closing thing, which I intended to say to begin with, but you, it had ended up in a better way than I had planned, in a matter of speaking. And, and I don't like the word planned. I just thought I would say this, and I'm going to say it now, which I would have started the program with. Of myself, I can do nothing. And another saying of the Bible, which is accurate, you know, seek first the kingdom of God in the right way and all the other things shall be added. And what I had realized a long time ago, and if I'm walking down the street, I like boats. In those days, I like a boat. And I had a house and it came to me and it was on the water, it was very inexpensive and the reason because there was no breakwater. And later on they built the breakwater and now it's worth a lot of money. It would take me 40 years to pay off the bill. It was only $50,000. Fifty is a lot of money. You pay it off. 6% interest, et cetera, et cetera. 3%. If, pardon? 3%. 3% interest in those days. I can't hear what you say. 3% interest. Oh, three, no, it was 6% in those days for me. It was. Um, so, but anyway, what I realized was is that if I ever wanted something, I have never wanted anything. I was always happy with what I had if I had a nickel and I see some uh, a cookie or chocolate bar. As a kid, I would say to myself, I don't need that. Uh, nickel, I'd rather have the nickel. I was able to not pleasure myself, you see. And I grew up, these days I'm still wearing clothes. You may not <laughs> like this, but it's either 30 years old. They come back into style. See, I don't buy much for myself. I'm not hungry for anything. But when one day I remember seeing a boat, and I had bought a little boat, a new one, because I needed one outside the house to go fishing. But then one day I saw this nice boat coming down the channel. And I looked at that, I said, well, that's, a, that's neat. That is a good boat. I can, I can see the design. I, I understand, you know, intuitively I know design. And so, then it went away. And then, I went for a walk and then I saw it in a different place, because there's two, there's two um, ports, you know, places, marinas, yeah. where they have one in Oxnard and one in Ventura. In Ventura, I saw it out of the water. I said, that's nice. Hmm, I'd like one like that. Okay, time passes, six months. I'm looking in the paper, and you're just looking, and there's the boat. That's just interesting. And so I picked up the phone, and the dealer did want to get rid of it. It was a very, very nice boat. And so I said, okay, if you would just give me the money I paid for the other one, I could, I could buy it. Well, long, in the long and the short of it, seven years later I, showed it, try, I, I sold it for twice as much as I paid for it. But however, what I'm trying to say is this. I have noticed, and my son Alan gave me a Jaguar. Now, I've always liked a Jaguar, uh, but I bought crappy other ones. Second-hand ones and all the rest of it. And I still have not so crappy, but nice one, nice old cars. I could buy a nice new car, 
But I think to myself, if I buy a nice new car, everybody thinks I'm exploiting the, the foundation. And that's how you think. So f even for that reason, I don't do that. And I really don't care about new cars, in a manner of speaking. But I do like Jaguars. I've uh, said this before. Uh, it was just a, an idea. And so it's the same with the boat. I would like the new, it's what happened, what I realized was, what I'm trying to say here, The Father knoweth what you need before you ask. Seek first the kingdom of God, and all other things will be added. But the, but the point is, what is the thinking that connects to, to what to be, is to be added, right? How does that thought come about? Is it selfish? I like I have got a car. I feel it's important when I'm driving this car. No, it's not that way at all. So what I realized was that if I have... If I'm going to get something good, it's already in the making sometime in the future when I least expect it. Alan gives me, he owed me a little money. And so all of a sudden I get a Jaguar. Isn't that right, Alan? You gave me a Jaguar in payment for what he owed me. See, and at 35,000 miles it was brand new. And it still, I still have it. It's, it's only got 50,000 miles and it's got how old it is now. I'm perfectly happy with it. Now I've got another one. I've I got another one, 2004. <laughs> the other one's two, uh, 1999. No, the point is, I like that. I like it because it comes to me in very strange ways. And it, it's like clean. What I'm saying is, God puts it in my mind to like it. Uh, it, as an idea, but not what I shall fulfill to make it happen. But it ha it comes through the living room, all by itself. That's because you didn't put it in the park. <laughs> 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 See, we have natural. We in our family, we have a natural humor. <laughs> and there it is, right there. We don't have to go to to see a, a person who an entertainer. Do you understand that? So, what, so if you can focus on what... See, there's a little... Th I can remember the first time when I'm six months or nine months old when I couldn't speak. And it happened this way. Something said to me. I never forget it. It was a, not a language, but I'm going to translate it into language. And it said, what's life all about? It put it there. It put it there. And it put the answer to it. And in other words, I thought, I thought. But I didn't think. The thought was put there. And the thought was put there proprietously. And so when I said, what is life all about? It also said, you'll know. That was it. I couldn't forget that. And everything I have has come about all by itself. I've never made a decision. I've never said, I want this and I'm going to get it. I'm happy, but uh, if you go to my house, everything is all second-hand furniture. I'm happy with what I got, but I got more than I need. That's called being a hoarder, by the way. See? <laughs> <laughs> he won't leave me alone, he torments me. <laughs> okay, well, thanks very much. Do you understand how easy life could be? It will... It, when you're ready for something, it walks into your living room, in a manner of speaking. And then it's sweet, right? Yeah. I could buy a new car and feel important for a little while, and then I'm, I'm, it wears off. But now I'm enjoying these cars, or whatever I've got, a family, even if they're not perfect, it, 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 it's all working out for the best. That's all I would say. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, thank you. And one more thing. I need your money. <laughs> <laughs> you, listen, how can I do this and have 115 stations and I need more to help save this country? People from the country. I have to help save people from the country. That's what I, it's in my head. And I, I work. But meanwhile, while I'm waiting, I'm working on physics.
And this is all I can say. I'm working on physics. I've discovered stuff. And you know if I've discovered stuff in physics, you know because you know it's right because I do, I've discovered stuff to help you. And it's all been given to me. And I will wait for that to happen. But my audience needs to understand I need some help so I can help them. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.